Hi there, welcome to our video review of the iPhone 6 and the new tempered glass screen protector. Um, last time we had a look at the iPhone 6, but we didn't set it up yet because we didn't have the SIM card installed. But this time we do have a 3G card installed. And we will quickly run it through the setup process. Now one thing that's different from the setup is now you can choose a view. Uh, the one on the right has bigger icons. If your uh, vision close is not so good, you can use this one. I will go for the standard view. So here we are, the new iOS 6. It's very snappy. Um, it has a few new features. Uh, one one feature that's really interesting is that now you can see the battery status. The new iPhone 6 has an 1800 milliamp battery. Uh, a small improvement, about 300 milliamp more than the iPhone 5s, but with a bigger display, that's what you need. So we expect the battery lifetime will be about the same as the iPhone 5s. The 6 Plus version will have a big 2900 milliamp battery that should have a, a, a big uh, increase in battery life. This one we don't expect it will be much different. Another feature is uh, the payment options that it has. For instance you can scan a credit card with your browser and instead of typing all the numbers it will automatically detect the numbers and fill in all the details for you. Very convenient if you want to make quick uh, online payments. Now let's have a look at the screen protector. The screen protector for the iPhone 6 comes with a cleaning cloth, a dry one, a wet one with alcohol and then some strips to um, take dirt from your screen. We'll show you later how that works. And of course the tempered glass screen protector. So let's show you how to apply this. Now we can use these strips first of all to take the protective layer from the iPhone. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it a bit better. And then first we will use our alcohol pad. Um, well, if you just take off the protective layer and you're quick, you don't need to use this because there won't be any dirt or dust on your screen. So with the alcohol pad, you can wipe all the grease and dirt from your screen. And then you use the dry cloth to clean it. Now if you see there are some dust particles on the screen you can use this one here to take it from the screen. That's what we use this for. And then what you'll do is turn it around with the camera on the bottom and I will peel this first halfway. Hold it like this. And now we need to center the top first. And what I do is I'll hold it down here and I'll see here on the bottom here whether it's lined out perfectly. And I think I did a good job. Then you'll just grab the screen uh, protective layer here, pull it underneath. As you can see it will suck itself to the screen. Now if you have a little bit of air left like what you see here, it's very easy. You can just put some pressure on it and rub it out. Now the iPhone 6 has uh, rounded screens. As you can see, 
it's a little bit sloped on the sides and that's the reason why the screen protectors are a little bit smaller if that's not the case uh, you would get air underneath the screen protector and it wouldn't stick the same is the case with the LG G3 as you can see the screen protectors are a little bit smaller than the size of the screen because they are rounded there's no other option uh, to get a good fit for these phones that's it we have our new iPhone 6 protected with a good screen protector as we saw in some videos you can drop it one and a half meter and the screen will not break but this gives you just that little bit of extra protection so that's our review for now if you have any questions please post them below the video and uh, we will reply as soon as possible thanks for watching and see you next time